Hey guys! Um, as you, that was a really weird intro. As you can see, I'm now sitting in my kitchen, and uh, it's because I have a super tiny house, okay? So, there's like three spaces that I can possibly get lighting that I don't disappear into because I, I seem to be the same color as all of the walls, so that's okay. One day I'll get around to painting. Either way. Hmm. And my son messed up some of my attempts to feel like a presentable human being. So, I know I've like posted this is a third video today, but like, I'm having anxiety crisis. So, and I don't mean like I'm gonna die or think I'm gonna die. Nothing like crazy serious, like crazy, crazy, crazy. Just a little bit crazy. Just like, it's Saturday, and um, I kind of didn't remember what day of the week it is, and I needed to get some like, mm, sorry about the camera moving around. I'm good at this. Um, well, anyway, I needed to get some like diapers and stuff. You know, crap that you can't really go without unless you enjoy like pee all over. So uh, I made this like god awful decision to be like, hey, I feel okay enough now that my son's up to go to Walmart at four on a Saturday and I have this relationship with stores like um, Walmart and Kroger and always Target I mean the other two are situational time day dependent um, at least Kroger Walmart is situational, time day, holiday dependent, and how much I like being over stimulated. Is that the word that I'm looking I don't think that's the word I'm looking for because that sounds wrong, but we're gonna call it that. Go with that, okay? Let's just go with that, overstimulated. So anyway, I am not gonna pay $50 for like um, some diapers, because that's crazy. They're like napkins that absorb pee and poop. I, I don't know. I'm sorry if I offend anybody who has kids, right? Okay, so anyhow, um, I went to Walmart, and by the time I managed to like get my butt out there, it was like five, because why not? Or it might have even been later, I don't know. Um, and I'm not sure why I'm making this video other than I feel like a crazy person because my son already gone through this. He doesn't talk. Um, so I'm walking through Walmart realizing there's like 7 million people who've never been taught please thank you, excuse me, or like any common decency human skills. Uh, in any language, thank you. It's it, it's irrelevant if it's English. It's just manners, people. Manners. And so I'm walking through the store. I don't like Walmart. It's usually pretty bright, and ours is like a super Walmart. Um, so you know the shelves are really tall. They're messy. Everything is like it's always like out of stock, or it looks like people just like rampaged through the store and just like threw everything everywhere and everybody's like hey no nah, that's cool it's still in the general area that it belongs in and I don't like that it makes me feel anxious I guess it, it's not even that it's like overwhelmed which might be the same thing is I don't know if that's the same thing but it feels like the same thing to me because no matter how you play that I am walking through the store telling my son okay don't freak out it's okay, even if he's not freaking out. Although usually he's pretty good at playing along, so um, I don't look as crazy, you know, being like, oh, it's okay, don't freak out. We'll be only going in a minute. We only have five more items. When I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't even fucking remember why I was in the store. Because I've been feeling pretty gross humans. I figure back. I go back to like trying to do my hair instead of being like, yay, it's winter, I'll just put on a hat. Or, um, you know, makeup or anything. Uh, the only thing that I am not gonna try and change just to make myself feel better is my clothes because 
I already did that and it's great. Um, up until 2015, uh, I never wore leggings. I never really have like jeans and things because I just don't like how they feel. Like I'm a tactile person. I don't like tags. I don't like buttons. I don't like zippers. And I sure as hell don't like my pants feeling heavy because I'm skinny and all jeans require um, like belts and stuff. So I'd always been kind of self-conscious about that. So I lived in like the yoga pant and I don't mean leggings. I mean yoga pants, you know, you can pass them off as like dress casual because they're just black pants with no buttons or zippers. Like, trust me, I've done it. Um, and then kind of, I don't know if it was before, I'm thinking it's after I started, like I, we separated. Um, I don't know why I got the balls to like be like, hey, this is what I find comfortable. And I don't, it can't be that offensive. I don't dress, you know, where like you can see yucky stuff. I just, I like leggings and certain kinds of shorts, but mostly leggings. So now I've been wearing those, I, I think I own pants, but I haven't actually worn them except for the one day it was like negative 17 outside. So I had leggings, but you know, I had pants over it cause I don't like dying of cold exposure. But um, yeah. And so I'm not changing that and I don't know how that spurred off from like this Walmart thing, but that was going through my head as I'm walking through the store along with the fact that even if I write a list, like the second I start writing the list, I immediately forget what I'm supposed to be buying. So I always end up with that thing where like I get home and then like, I don't know, real late at night, real early in the morning when I'm not awake enough to find a stupid pen is when I go, oh, um, I suppose I was supposed to get these other five items I kinda kinda need. And I put it off and I put it off and I put it, like it's not really putting it off, it's just like forgetting. And um, actually, I go to stores a lot. It don't always, eat. I don't know if it's cause I forget or cause it's just kind of a therapy of walking around in the middle of the day when there's not as many people, you know, um, in the store. And it, it's okay, it feels okay. It's like something I can do and I go with my son and we point at things and we say the colors and I don't know why I'm even telling you this, but the point is, is it's like, so I, I normally do that, right? And the past like week, I've not left the house except for to maybe let my ex's dog out, which is two blocks and I basically wear pajamas. So I don't think you can call that leaving the house. I mean, really. And um, I just kind of lost time uh, time and place. And when you go to Walmart, you know, they have like 82 registers and at least ours, there's like two and a couple self checks open. So my kid's getting like anxious and cause he doesn't want to be in the stupid like cart anymore and um and I'm knowing I'm forgetting something I'm just trying to keep him calm and to checking out because I'm trying to keep calm and check out I get overwhelmed family members of mine seem to think that's a little ridiculous um I feel like if you're not living in my head it's kind of hard to know how it feels it feels like if you took well for instance my house is always fairly dark like I appreciate lighting for pictures, but I, I don't know other than what an eye doctor told me once. It's just, I, I don't, I get overwhelmed with like the bright stuff and the bright, bright, bright lights and the like things all over and the noise all over and the, ugh. Okay, so for me, it's more comfortable to just not deal with that. Like, or I can deal with it if there's not like a bunch of people who parents apparently never taught them how to be like polite so I get through that and I get home and I'm like trying not I'm having problems trying not to like s seem angry towards my son when I'm not angry at him I'm just so sick of the situations that life is putting me in and it, it, it's upsetting to me and I don't want to make him upset um so anyway, there's actually a cute, happy little end to the story. My son has never seen me in anything but like mascara and eyeliner. 
Um, and the only other time he ever like literally noticed I looked different was when I got my hair cut because up until he was about a year and three months old, my hair was like halfway down my back. And um, I left him with his dad because we knew I was getting a fairly large haircut and it'd probably take a little while. So I, oh, by the way, my aunt's the only person who I let cut my hair. Um, like anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. If somebody can't cut my hair, I'll just grow it out until I can find like a time for her to cut, which is why it ended up so long because I was in Georgia. I didn't trust anybody to touch my head. Mm -mm. Nope. I've only had like three people cut my hair and she's the one person that it's been a repeat, so to speak. So anyway, um, he noticed that and he was so like awestruck that like I had hair. I guess he didn't notice it before because it was always up. I was just losing hair really bad. Um, and my whole life, I flirted on and off with wanting to cut my hair very short. This time, I just wanted to like buzz cut my hair. I just wanted to like full out, get the like clipper blades that you use for like, you know, dudes or military haircuts and just do it. But my genetic line, at least on my dad's side, means my hair grows like straight up. And it takes a while, like even now, like look, that's actually, that, see that, see that, that that's done, um, sort of. But when I wake up or get out of the shower, if I dry my hair, it just sticks straight up. Um, so I had a lot of pressure. It took me a while to go back to the short hair because I had a lot of pressure from outside, like girls, need to have long hair or my hair is pretty or I don't think like you have to appreciate what it feels like to be like anxious and sick and your hair's falling like and have a kit. No. No. That's why that's why people cut their hair short. Um I I remember I got it really short when I was in like second grade and then I did it again in like middle school or high school and then right before I moved to Georgia I cut it really short which retrospectively was not a good idea because I had to find somebody to like replicate that and they were no um that's why I started growing it out and that's all kinds of awkward man um I really I really like it short I I do understand it doesn't really work for some things like for instance I don't look girly girly. And because I'm skinny, my head looks too big for my body. And hair sometimes can make it better or worse. And I have no boobs, so sometimes that's confusing for people. Because they somehow like need to know my gender so badly that they're going to ask. I don't... I feel like that's not... that. There's nobody's business. If my son calls me mama, who gives up if I'm actually a guy? And I dress like this, who cares? I'm not, but I'm just saying, who cares? Um, so you know, there's all that stuff going on and I think I was talking about Walmart. I don't know. So, oh, my son's reaction. So he reacted to my haircut really cute. Um, and I put lipstick on cause I've not worn it since high school, first year of college, I don't know. I find when I don't feel good or if I have other things, sometimes I feel like I'm being pressured by society, that's where I was going. Um, being pressured by society to like act and do certain things. But my point at the end of this long irrelevant diatribe is that my son thought it was the coolest thing ever and he kept trying to kiss my face and look at the camera. It was so cute. It was so cute. It just makes, it's so cute. Um, we're at 14 minutes. I don't know if I can go over how I feel about society pressuring people to do what they have to do. So I'm gonna end this here because I just wanted to bring up, um, like, I I felt so crazy at the store. People were looking at me because I was standing there, like, 
trying to assure my child that it was okay without freaking out myself. I Sometimes I feel like I know my family can watch this if they wanted to and they're gonna think I'm making stuff up. But I'm not, okay? I'm not. I'm just... I actually watched the last two videos that I recorded as I was waiting for them to load and it kind of makes me feel better in some like perverse watching myself talk through things way. So if I don't upload the other video, I'll just do it tomorrow, but you know, I don't know how Reddit works. I have like a name, but I'm not sure how to make a group in a way that doesn't involve a computer because I don't have one right now. So we're going to see. I still have Instagram. If, if you feel the need to follow me, I don't really expect anybody to be watching this in that way. Either way, um, I'm going to do another video in a few minutes. And because uh, we've got to talk about this thing about pressuring people to be what they're supposed to be because they're got certain body parts. I, that's what I'm going to call it. It's not a very streamlined way of saying it, is it? No, no it's not, but that's okay. Um, remember, if you are awake and watching this and you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, it's okay. You're making it through. Uh, you know, if you're watching it, we're all warriors. We have our own battles. You can't see mine. Maybe you can. Now you know about them, but you're a warrior inside and you belong wherever you are. You belong on this planet. So, you know, along with me and what I've taught my kid to do, and I find it so cute and funny, but also a little disturbing, is uh, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, Close your eyes maybe while you're doing it or not. If you're driving, please don't do that. And, uh, you know, it'll be okay. We're all trying to make our way through. I'm doing this because I've always kind of felt like it might help. And I'm actually... I did two videos and I started to feel a little less like it was all inside. And shaky video. Ah! Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hang this up. I'm going to like clean a couple dishes and then I'll come back and we will, I will talk about how I feel about being told I can and cannot do things because I am a girl. Thank you. Bye guys.